Hello, everybody. Hey, uh, uh, welcome to Valiant Victories with Annie Decker. Yeah, uh, sorry it's been a little while. Oof, oof, I've been busy. It is uh, a Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day here uh, in the old U.S. of A. So yeah, finally uh, got a, a spare moment to make a video. There we go. Uh, oof, yeah, I was uh, setting up, uh, taking down the cribs and putting uh, uh, toddler beds in for the twins. And, uh, oh, here we go, putting them down for a rest. And, uh, yeah, they uh, didn't really rest. <laughs> so, ooh, it's going to be fun. Hopefully it'll go uh, better when it's dark and uh, they get to bedtime. But we'll figure that out. All right, let's get started with, oh, here we go. I'm just, ooh, sorry, my uh, lights. Ooh, ooh, yeah, you know, you know how it all goes. Uh, we're on issue six. Issue six, uh, one for all. Here we go. So let's see. We left off with uh, very exciting stuff. So uh, the Renegades uh, met up. Uh, Solar joined them there, and they uh, they were fighting uh, the Harbinger folks there. And, oh, all the stuff was going to hit the fan. Oh, it was going to be great. So then we're starting out here. Uh, you know, oh, yes, yeah, stay out of the way, Dr. Solar. We know what we're doing. And so there's like, hey, you kids gotta get out of here. You know, what do you think you're doing? You will, oh, oh, okay. So, <laughs> so they get out of there. And uh, so uh, Solar takes them all uh, out into a safe spot. Tell them, whatever you kids do, don't you dare go back there. You better not do that. And they go, okay, Dr. Solar, we won't do it. And as soon as Solar leaves, he goes, all right, we're gonna go back there and do that. <laughs> So they fly back. He says, oh, they'll never suspect us if we go back right now. Ha ha. Uh, yeah, they suspected him. <laughs> so the uh, Harbinger folks are uh, fighting uh, against the Renegades again. And uh, Harada's noticing how much damage uh, 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 Pete is able to take. And keep keep coming, keep coming. They, oh, wow, he's powerful. That's, ooh. Uh, so they, yep, they're fighting the Renegades there. And uh, Thumper uh, was realizing, you know, oh, well, they, they aren't all bad. They they uh, help Puff. And they uh, talking with Puff, you know, well, what do you think? Should we? Uh... Go, okay. So Thumper is going to thump her out of there. And they're going to get out. Uh, they're... <laughs> Thumper and Puff are trying to explain to the Renegades, you know, hey, you know, we appreciate that you helped us out. We're trying to help you out. Pete's like, well, what do you mean? Like, Harada's incapacitated for a minute. I could take him out. Now this is the perfect time. They're, no, you bet. Eh, we helped you, but this is, you're not going to mess with Harada. So there they go. So Pete's taking him out. Oh, what am I, I could have, I could have, I could have been a contender. You could have done that. So they get to uh, an abandoned home there. So they're chatting. And uh, it was very interesting because each side uh, is trying to explain like well no we're we're the good guys like you're you're the bad guys <laughs> no we're the good guys and you're the bad guys <laughs> well let's just go to sleep so then they go to sleep and uh, uh there this was a funny little bit so torque was playing uh, fetch we find out with uh with uh, faith <laughs> but we'll get back into that and then oh girl talk in the bathroom you know oh i've been feeling very sick chris says you know and uh uh, Charlene's at well, are you late? Bum, bum, bum. There you go. So then we can see <laughs> Torque playing fetch there. And uh, this was a great moment here. Uh, Torque, who's not very good with his words, except for uh, insults usually, um, he apologizes to Charlene for being pretty much a jerk. <laughs> so she appreciates that. And, uh, you know, oh, yeah, yeah, I haven't seen you having this much fun with your pants on. I like that line. Uh, yeah, he was, uh, Torque was having fun with Faith, just playing uh, a game. So that was nice. Uh, so Thumper and Puff, they decide they're going to leave. And uh, they, you know, well, you better not tell anybody about what we're doing. And, you know, well, you know, okay, we're not going to. But now we're, we're square, fair and square, even. We're even. You helped us. We helped you. Now we're all done. All right. So Puff and uh, Thumper, they head out on a bus. Uh, and Mr. Koromoto, let me see, did I get it right? Ooh, Kuramoto, there we go. Uh, from the Harbinger Foundation, uh, he meets up with them. And there's, oh, oh well, we, uh, you know, uh, yeah. and uh, Mr. Kuramoto 
He's saying that, oh, Ryx, this is, you guys could leave any time, you know. We thought that, you know, you might do it in a better way, but, uh, hey, if you wanted to leave, that's fine. And actually, here, you did put in a lot of good service, so here's, you know, here's some money. Uh, 15000 I think it was. You know, oh, yeah, so, you know, uh, no hard feelings, you know. Uh, go on, uh, go ahead, kids. But if you do know where the uh, renegades are or anything, you know, if you want to tell us, and they're like, uh, no. But then uh, Harad is there. You know, ha, ha, let me see. Oh, they're thinking about it. I, he's uh, trying to squeeze into their brains. Uh, <laughs> so there we go. And then the renegades, they're chatting in the car. You know, oh, what do you think about that? What the? Ah! So then <laughs> they run into another set of egg breakers. There's Ghost there. And uh, yeah, so there's a couple of folks there. I think, yeah, so there's Ghost. And then, oh, I couldn't remember some of the other names. But they're all brawling there. And, ooh, grabbing Faith by the hair. There, ooh, she's uh, uh, got uh, Pete there. Like, sweet, there you go, yes. And, yeah, very powerful. Obviously, the Egg Breakers uh, are uh, uh, a special team there that's uh, getting sent out. And they're taking on the Renegades. They're fighting along, fighting along. Uh, just like in the game, Torx throwing a rock there, but beaming her in the head. And, oh, there's somebody there. This was interesting. Yeah, like, you can tell, like, uh, oh, yeah, here, go out and help him. And he's uh, able to make the uh, force fields. Oh, don't hurt me, don't hurt me. That, that would be me. <laughs> if I had that power, I'd be like, you know, oh, yeah, I'm going to hear be here to help. Ah, no, but don't, uh, don't actually hurt me. Right, so that'd be me. So I, I sympathize. <laughs> so there we go. And so Ghost is trying to take on Charlene. Charlene is able to... Uh, heat up the air and so ooh now you can't now you're not, not gonna be able to breathe uh oh i can't remember his name but he's going up behind torque and <laughs> stabbing and stabbing and oh the blood there like ooh that doesn't that doesn't look good uh so they're fighting along fighting along and um they say oh call an ambulance quick call an ambulance so they call the ambulance and the ambulance shows up and uh they're like you know Oh, it was kind of weird that, uh, you know, the ambulance, they didn't let us, any of us, go along. You don't think that... Oh, no, it was uh, Harada! <laughs> so, and it was Harada. So he had his own uh, crew there. And then they tried to break back into the ambulance. And uh, Pete's going inside of Torque's head. Like, uh, okay, here we go, here we go. He's checking him out. And uh, this was very interesting. He's into his own... He's into Torque's head. You know, oh, hey, Pinhead. And uh, Torque's kind of, he's calm uh, in his head. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, we come on, Torque, we need you, we love you. You know, he says, Torque, uh, I love you, you know. Uh, I'll see you, Pinhead. And uh, Pete, see you, Pete. And uh, so his last words there to Pete were uh, not Pinhead. It was, you know, see you, Pete, and called him by his name. And, ooh, Pete saying goodbye. So there we go. Torque is no longer with us. Uh, ooh. So very, very heavy issue. Uh, confession time for me. <laughs> I did know. I did know that Torque was going to die. I thought, though, I didn't look into it, and I didn't know what issue, and I didn't know the circumstances. I thought that in, what was it, issue four, if I'm remembering, when Torque got beat up, um, I thought, like, oh... He died then. And then there was the... Oh, what are the odds I can find that page? I think I even said it in the video. Oh, I flipped right to it. So then it gets to this page. And then you could see Torque was not uh, not quite... I don't know. I said, like, oh, yeah, oh, maybe I got, like, a bad copy. Like, I thought, oh, Torque was dead. He got beat up. He didn't make it. This picture was showing that, oh, no, he he's dead. And then I thought it was going to get to, like, the end of that issue, and it was going to be revealed. Like, oh, no, Torque was actually dead the whole time. Ha, ha. So that's what I thought. <laughs> but then that's not what happened. So I guess it was just a matter of the picture looked weird. So, ha, ha. So, but I'll admit it. Because I thought, oh, there we go. Well, that's going to be a cool twist. Um, I do actually like that it was, that wasn't the twist, that it just was, that he ended up dying in the fight and that it wasn't, ha, I'm going to reveal to you this. So I like the way it turned out. <laughs>
for real better. But uh, yeah, oof, another heavy issue. Um, I really appreciated uh, the uh, uh, conversation between Puff and Thumper and the Renegades. You know, oh no, you we're the good guys. You're the bad guys. No, you're yeah. You know, uh, that it's not you know. Uh, sort of like the X-Men versus, uh, uh, what do they call them? Uh, with, ooh, I don't know. I, I don't actually read X-Men, but like, you know, I watch the cartoons and the and that stuff. But like how the X-Men pretty much are mostly the good guys. And, you know, Magneto you can kind of sympathize with, but he's ultimately the bad guy. Like, really, like Pete? In the Renegades, they can they kill people sometimes. They hurt people. They steal. They they are not completely all good. Uh, Harada and the Egg Breakers, they're not completely all bad. They're trying to help people too. So there's way more gray area in it, and that's that's really interesting. Again, great character stuff. The fact that Torque was able to apologize to Charlene in time. Um, the fact that you could see uh, Torque and Faith there, that they had a friendly relationship there. Um, and then ultimately the uh, the last bit with, with Pete and Torque, uh, it, Pete got to say, you know, he said, I love you. Uh, Torque being, you know, the big tough guy that he was, he didn't say it back. Uh, he did, he could have done the, you know, I love you. I know he didn't do that one, but, uh, uh, but he did call him Pete and said goodbye. So it was, oof, it's one of those, like, Torque could have, you could see the growth, and it's like, oh, oh, he could have been such a great <clears throat> character, and he's dead. And it's it's not like, oh, you know, oh, what a waste. It didn't feel like a waste. It felt like that's something that really could have happened, that it was a big, impactful death, and got a respect. Oh, shooter, Jim, shooter, you don't kiss your brain. Oh, oh, oh it's so good, so good. So absolutely uh, valiant victory all the way. Oh my goodness. Definitely a oof, heavy issue, an issue that's going to stick with me. And I really enjoyed it. So there we go. Uh, ooh, one last one in this. And then, ooh, I think we might switch gears to Axo. There we go. So one last one in here and an Axo. And uh, let's see. Oh, but uh, yeah, very exciting stuff. Oh, I put uh, Book of Shadows back up on the wall. I got to get back into that. I dug out my issues one and two. So I'll have to look that over, I think. I think I got a couple of weeks until issue three is out. So there you go. Um, uh, let me see what else is going on. Yeah, I've, uh, I've been, uh, I have a, a mysterious benefactor who, uh, my guru, who's been supplying me with some books. And then I've also been going on and, uh, cruising, uh, online looking for books. I filled up a couple of short boxes. Ooh, so ooh, I'm working on, I'm working on filling holes. And, uh, uh, the wife is, uh, she was looking over the, you know, uh, you had a lot of eBay charges on there. What's going on? Uh, oh, oh, sorry, you know, well, uh, got a good deal on uh, this. And, you know, well, it was... Uh, so I, I got to slow down a little bit. <laughs> uh, but anyway. Oh, oh, oh no, she's not... You're, uh, no, I'm not making a video. Anyway. But, uh, uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, I did pick up... Uh, this one's for you, uh, David Bale. Hey, how you doing? I picked this book up, and as soon as I opened it up and saw the cover, I thought of you. So there we go. So yeah, I'll get to this someday. Oy, I got a lot. I got a lot to cover, but it's so good. Oh, I, I am glad to uh, take my time and really dig in, let it soak in, not just zip right through it. Really enjoy what I'm reading. Cause man, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. So there you go. Uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, hopefully, I'll try to bust out the next video is somewhat reasonably timed we'll see but anyway thanks for staying valiant and i'll talk to you later bye everybody